Welcome back to Wood Acres. Today we're going to be giving Mumbles and the girls a clean out. <laughs> you girls ready to go outside? It's about 25 degrees colder outside than it is in here. Yeah, you better fluff up those feathers, Mumbles. Mumbles and the girls are doing better each day. They're still going to have some time down here as Khaki still finishes healing up. It can take just as long for duck bones to heal as it does people bones. So in total, we're looking at four to six weeks. And by the time Khaki gets healed, Mumbles should have a full white head of feathers. So down here, I've been using hay and I just keep layering it in there, keeping it fresh. I wanted to get it pretty thick in here because they're on concrete and I didn't want them to be on the cold, hard concrete. But now it's time for a full clean. Out. So I'm going to open up the door and let them go outside and forage while I get their area cleaned up and fresh. I do have some pools out there of fresh water and it mumbles. I'm hoping you get cleaned up, girl. You need to whiten up like Rita. And we'll get you some fresh food when you get back in here. Huh, oh, Pop? You tired, buddy? You just going to take a nap while I do this? All right. You keep an eye out. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're going ready. You're always ready. Ready, mumbles? Echo, over. Good boy. Come on, ladies, get out there in the grass. Get out there in the grass. We're gonna try and keep it clean. Water's here when you want to go swimming, but it's probably really cold now. girls you stay out there I know it's chilly I'll let you know when I'm done where's the broom pop oh I found it What are you doing, Pop? What are you doing? You want to play with your cube? All right, give me that cube. Let's put... 
I got all the bedding cleaned out of there, but it is dirty, so I wanted to wash it out with some water. But the hose was left here overnight, and it's all frozen up, so I'm going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like it, pup? It's all fresh and clean now. I even put a board under their food and water. Got their bowls all cleaned up and fresh. Pup, are you checking for anything? It's all clean hay. What are you doing, pup? This is all fresh hay. What are you sniffing? What are you finding in the fresh hay, puppy? Is there something? How did I leave some egg left? You just find some egg. Something you didn't clean up this morning. I thought I'd just wash this all out and you're still finding some egg. You silly pup. I thought I did a good job, puppy. Now, ladies, you gonna get cleaned up or not? You gonna get in the pool? And I just got the driveway all washed off again, so we're all clean. We just gotta give Mumbles in the bath. Huh, pup? I did come out here the other day and try and get her to swim in the bigger pool. I even picked her up and put her in probably five times, and every time I did that, she swam right to the edge and jumped out. So I'm hoping at the very least she gets in the little pool today to get cleaned up. Good thing I brought out one of my grandma's old chairs to sit on. So now I can sit out here with Echo Pup and watch my birds.
Get in. Get in the water, Mumbles. Nah, clean yourself up. You ladies ready to go back in? Yeah, you don't look like you want to swim today. A little too cold for you? All right, I got everything fresh in there. Come on, ladies. You guys are just digging a hole in my front yard anyway. Come on. Maybe tomorrow. It's supposed to warm up really good, so. Maybe tomorrow. It'll be nice and warm and you can swim. Come on, Mumbles. Aw, oh, really? You just had to leave me with that, huh? Go ahead in there, girl. All right. Make yourself comfortable. You got fresh water and fresh feed. Good boy, good boy. You all good, ladies? You happy? You got your room all cleaned up, girls? All right, they can all settle in now, and I'm gonna head up to the barn and open up the gates. I think the ducks have been just making a muddy mess inside the pen. Dizzy, you're underneath the heat lamp too. It is pretty chilly today, huh? I know, I know. Ladies, what are you doing out? I didn't even open the gate yet. That's why I need to work on the fencing because I can't have these chickens digging up my gardens once I get them mulched and looking nice for the flowers to come up. I'm coming, I'm coming. I hear ya. Chicken's in the corner and the ducks are yelling. I'm coming, ladies. Look at this muddy mess. This was looking so good before the rain. I'm slipping, ladies, I'm slipping. All right, come on. Come here, pup. Puppy, the ducks don't want to run past you, bud. I guess they will. Come here, come here. Let the ducks run. They got puddles to make. Hi, oh, ladies, look at this mess they made. You weren't doing that, were you, pants? Uh oh, Rufio got busted. All right, I'm coming up behind the barn today to do some work on Bert's house again. We're making some good progress on that house, though. I just want to check in on Jim. Just opened the Dutch door. Hey, buddy, where you at? Both on the ground? You're still walking around, huh, bud? You just won't give that leg a rest, will you? Jeez, buddy. You make me feel bad. All right, I'm gonna tape you up a little different this time, see if that helps. I also picked up some turkey-specific feed with a higher protein count, around 28%. And I've been giving him poultry supplement directly into the mouth and in his water, but I really need to get that leg held into the correct position. Jim has a slip tendon, and I've been working on trying to tape his legs to hold it in the right position. You stay there, pup. Hey, Pam, how you doing? You being nice to Jim? No, you don't have to run, Jim, it's okay. Oh, buddy. It hurts just to watch you run. It's okay, puppy. I just got to help Jim real quick. You stay there. All right, come here, Jim. I want to help you, bud. No, you don't have to worry. No, we're going to help you. We're going to help you. Don't run. Up off that leg for a minute. Yeah, calm down, bud. Calm down. Okay. Ow. Yeah, you got sharp claws, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Jim. Okay. Okay, Jim. So I was thinking I could try and tape the legs together to hobble them, but I think the problem is the hips are actually buckling in together and I need to space them apart. What are you saying? I'm trying to help them, girl. No, I'm trying to help them. I know, but we can get him better. He's a little thin. We're going to try and fatten him up, too. All right, you settle down. I'm going to try and figure something else out, and I'm going to bring up your feed. I'm going to get a barrel to keep their feed in out here so I don't have to keep bringing up scoops from the barn. I'll be right back. Is this your ball? Good boy. 
Other than helping Jim today, I wanna to work on Bart's house and get latches on the gate there for the egg window as well as the door. And then I put on a door over here. I was just messing with the size of this. This is the board that I cut out from the actual plywood here. I just took off a couple more edges, blade widths on all four edges just to make it fit inside. I put the little hinges that I had on the egg door and put some bigger hinges over there. The little ones just fit a lot better on this door. And this door obviously isn't done. I have a cover for it and a weather shield. And I also got a piece of rubber cut for the big door over here we have a roll of this thin rubber that I've been using for different projects just little pieces here and there so I've cut off two pieces that I think I need this one's for the big door and it looks like this will cover that gap perfectly I'm gonna screw it on the door and the wall and then it'll just act as a flexible hinge all right get on there get on there there we go just like that and this one's gonna go right above the hinges like that and cover up the top of the door All right, the rubber's on the doors. Now I just need to figure out latches and gym. Up, up. Nah, nothing better be living under there. I could probably find something to make the latches, but I did have to buy something for this, so we'll get to that. And since the rain came, I had to lay down a pathway of hay because all this turned into sticky clay. I'm pretty much a poet. Up, up. I did some more clean outs on the barn, so we're starting a new compost pile. Hi, oh, ladies. Let me through, let me through. Beep, beep. Hey, Sedgwig. Hey, boys, you keeping an eye on all the girls? Good. Oh, I almost got stuck in my truck coming out here earlier today to bring out the feed. I bought feed today and I drove it out and it was a little bit wet out here. I almost got stuck even with four wheel drive. We made it though. Got some ladies over here hanging out with Dizzy. Got Dalmatian and one of the Andalusians. Can't really tell if you're light, dark, or spotted right now. Not huh, Dizzy. I hear ya. We got a lot of rain so the pond is really full. Hey girl, where are you coming from? Oh, there's more over there. I got birds everywhere. Ducks are in the field pond. It looks like a beautiful day, but it's only 35. Hey, Mumbles girl, how you doing? I got Mumbles and the girls all cleaned out today with fresh bedding, so how you doing, girl? I tried to get her outside to go swimming, but she didn't want to go swimming. I can't blame her, it's pretty cold. They've been all a little spoiled here with 60 degrees inside the garage. All the other birds are used to the 30 degrees outside. Even Rita still has a dirty face, and she's usually the first one to go swimming. I mumbles. But they're all set up with a clean room. Huh, pup, what do you see? Is there a golf ball in here, buddy? Echo Pup loves golf balls. And my door's here. I was painting it. Oh, it's still sticky. I don't think I'm ready for that. I'm not ready for that. So I'm gonna have to let that door dry, but I did grab some pipe insulation. I'm thinking I can use this as some type of splint for Jim. It's pretty much a pool noodle, but it's black because you don't want anything brightly colored because birds love to peck at things that are brightly colored. You ready, pup? Come on. Hold on, pup. All right, Jim, let's see if we can help you. You got up there. Whenever he gets up here, he stands a little bit better because he's forced to bring that foot around. But either way, his tendon's not in the right spot. Yeah, buddy. But we're going to try and do something about that. Just take a quick measurement, bud. You don't have to go anywhere. Relax. Relax. Okay. I was hoping to do it without catching them.
Why won't this tape rip straight? All right, the tape I have isn't working. I guess it's old, so I'm gonna have to get a different roll of tape so I can get that in place. Hold on, puppy. I'm back, Jim. Let's do round two, buddy. All right, Jim. Let's try this again. Come here, buddy. That wasn't good. Why'd you do that? Just relax, buddy. Just relax. It's okay. It's okay. We can be friends. Yeah, don't peck me in the face, though. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I know. I know. We're going to get this figured out, bud. All right, well, my plan is not working. I cannot get that foam piece in between his legs to actually stay in place. He just wiggles right out of it. He is managing to get around pretty good despite of that, but it's not gonna be good for him to keep growing like this. Huh, Pam, you got the high perch now. There's no room for him up there. If you have any experience with this, I'll take your advice down below. Come on, pup, let's let him calm down. All right, buddy. Now for the doors out here, I grabbed a couple different pieces of hardware and some latches. I'm going to see if those old latches work. And some rods here. We'll see if we can make something work. Huh, Pop? You going to help? Yeah, I could use your help, buddy. Yeah, pick something. Pick something up. Huh? Huh? No? Okay. All right, I got started, but I'm not finishing tonight. I ran out of daylight. It's time to put the barn away. Docs, you waiting on me. You don't have to wait on me, Docs. Go ahead in there. There you go. Go on in. Tell him, Pop. There you go. All right, that's going to be all for this one. If you want to keep following along with everything here at Wood Acres, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit that like button before you leave. And you can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching.